All right, you lot. It's uh, Tim back again for another one. And uh, today we're going to have a go at putting together a uh, trapped N-fed half wave, which will give us 15 and 10 metres. So the idea is to run a half wave for 10. We've got a coax trap for 10 metres and then a little bit more wire at the top for 15. So um, I've got an idea of what the uh, an antenna should look like. In the previous video, which I'll put a link up to somewhere up there, uh, we looked at the dimensions. Now, uh, I got the feeling the overall dimensions would be slightly smaller for this antenna because we're using insulated wire. And the modelling I used in that, that, in that video was um, was copper wire uh, and insulated. So that should be, we should need less wire. So we'll have a go putting it together. We'll put it up. We'll see if we can get a good SWR match on both bands. And we'll see if we can work some stations. So that's the trap look. And uh, below that is the where are we? 10 meter element. Now, it's the 50 meter element. You notice the trap is at about 4. Point something, 4.7 meters. I'll, I'll measure it properly. Look how short the. I mean, look how. Hang on, if I can show this to you. That's the end of the, the tip of the 50 meter part. Look, and literally, that's it. To there. That's how short it is. So, we're nearly there. Got the resonance now at 20.5 best match at 20.5 a little bit again to go and we'll have it properly tuned so here's the antenna then it's about uh, ooh, half a meter off the ground maybe a couple of feet off the ground 60 centimeters or so and uh, you can see it going up all the way now you can see the trap up there so up to there oops there and uh, only about 60 centimeters of wire above it that trap that jumps off 10 meters Right, trimming is over. I'll put the dimensions on the screen for you in a minute. Let me just very quickly show you the SWR. Very top of, uh, of 15, one, one, so 1.5 to one. Uh, we'll go down to where I normally would go. Sorry, I'm blocking the screen a bit here. Let's go down to about, I don't know, 190, 185 or something. That's being used. One, one. So if anything, it's still a bit long, but I don't care. That's perfectly fine. One, one, and bottom end of S of the sideband portion down here somewhere. One, one, and then we'll go. Excuse me a moment. Very top end usually. One, one, one. Perfect. Right. Ah, uh, let me show the dimensions then, and we'll compare those against the model dimensions as well. Goal 5, Tango Mike slash Portable. Tango uh, Mike, Stroke uh, Portable. Roger, Roger, QSL, QSL. Nice to meet you, hello, your signal 5 and 8 and 5 and 7. Roger, you're 5 9, 5 9. Thank you, the report 5 and 9 and 73, QRZ. Uh, Germany 5, Tango Mike, question mark. That is a Roger, you have my call, I am Portable, you are 5 9. Golf 5, number 5, Tango Mike, portable. Uh, golf uh, 5, Tango Mike, Golf 5, Tango Mike. Uh, you are 5 by 4, 5 by 5, into Alabama State, Alabama State, over. Golf 5, Tango Mike, Golf 5, Tango Mike, QSL. That's a Roger, QSL, you're 5 9, 59. Nine, you're about a 4747 four, into Whiskey Victor, West Virginia, QSL. Uh, we'd like to answer that uh, Golf 5 Portable, my goodness, good signal. KA2GEH, were you calling me or Mario, please, over? Uh, if it's your frequency, sir, I was calling you, over. Well, I, I sort of found it by proxy, if you know what I mean. Uh, KA2GEH. And uh, what, is your, uh, what is your call again, sir? Well, good morning from the UK. The call is Golf 5 Tango Mike. That's Germany 5 Tango Mike. And I'm portable. QSL? Oh, QSL. Very good. Boy, you got a good signal into western New York State. Uh, Golf 5 Tango Mike. K-A-2-G-E-H. My name is Mike. Uh, my name is Mike. 
like we're in western New York State. I, I got you at a five and nine. Really, really good uh, from portable there. Does this? Golf five, Tango, Mexico. Mexico. Germany five, Tango, Mexico. Oh, 59, no problem, over. Do a tell, you're, you're five and nine as well. We should someone right on our frequency. Anyway, all the best to you. You got a good signal over here. Name is Lee, Lee Mac, or Echo. And I'm in the state of Pennsylvania, over. Germany five, Tango, Mexico. Uh, Tango Mike. Germany five, Tango Mike. Golf five, Tango Mike, five nine. Five nine, thank you. Well, that was a nice one. That was Greenland on 15 there, so I'm quite happy with that. Again? Golf 5, Tango, Mexico, Portable. Golf 5, Tango, Mike, is that? That's a Roger, QSL, you're 59. Thank you, my friend. Uh, Golf 5, Tango, Mike, uh, this is Hotel Zulu 1, Pensawski, 5 and 9, block left. Now that's clear, Roger. So how well did the antenna perform? Well, I was delighted. Um, the overall length. Uh, the top part was about 64 centimetres. The trap itself is 7 centimetres. The bottom part is 4 metres 49. So if you just take the um, the length of the wire without the trap, it's 5.16 metres. So there's quite a bit of loading going on. It's all nested wires now, look. <laughs> but you see the top part. Oh, it's getting loose. Hang on. Bear with me. Yeah, the top part, this is the trap, by the way, had these um, off the shelf, bought these, okay? Didn't have time to make them, dead easy to make. Coax tra trap. This one's for 10 meters. But uh, the short bit for 15 is literally that. That's all it is, look, to the end. And then uh, the half wave below it, the length below it, which is all nicely tangled now for 10 meters, as I say, four, what was it, four meters 49. So, uh, yeah. A bit shorter than the modelled uh, amount. There's a bit of loading with the transformer itself anyway, at the base. Um, we're dealing with insulated wire, not um, an insulated copper wire. And uh, don't forget, it's a little bit, although it comes into the model, there's a bit of loading as well with the trap for 15. But look, overall, what can I say about the performance though? Um, looking at the logbook quickly. On 15, we worked Saudi Arabia, we worked around Europe, we worked into the States and Alabama. Uh, more states there. Um, yeah, very happy again. More, more United States in there. Uh, also into on ten, a uh, couple into the states. We worked into that uh, island again in the Caribbean that I can't pronounce, but that was good. I've worked them on ten and fifteen now. Uh, look, oh, very, very good. So happy, very happy with that indeed. Uh, nice signal reports, good fun, and a simple little antenna. Uh, it only measures uh, just over five metres. You can put that on a six metre pole, dead easy. Uh, even mounted a bit off the ground. And uh, fabulous stuff. So well worth it. Cut the wires for the for the uh, the textbook lens to start. It's actually for 10 metres. Get your 10 metres right first. When you put the trap on, then it'll... If you might want to cut it with the trap on, actually, because the trap will add more loading. Just got to trim it a bit more. And then... Uh, add about a couple of metres for 15 and pre be prepared to trim quite a bit off and do it steadily. You'll see a dip eventually come, as I saw, around 19 megahertz, and then it just started coming in the more I trimmed. Uh, it's probably still a tad long now, uh, if I'm being completely fussy, but I'm still well below 1.5 to 1 uh, throughout the whole of where I went to work on 10 and 15. So very happy indeed. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. There'll be another video coming up over then. If you want to subscribe, just click the link there and uh, make me aware that some of my content is at least worth watching. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you again for another one. 7-3 and take care.